top pigeon of Taiwan have asked me to carry out a field trial of their new exciting ETS system, which is called the Eye Pigeon. And this film will start from the fancier's perspective, and then a little later I'll cover the club system. And so what is included with the Eye Pigeon Fancier's ETS system? Well first and most important obviously is the clock itself. The Which screen is just like your modern day tablets in that it is touch screen. Or alternatively you can use these buttons. This part of the iPigeon is an RF reader, which means you can test your rings if they're working, or in the unlikely event that one of your loft antenna pads should be faulty, you can still clock your bird in this area. The iPigeon will allow you to add rings and also assign the rings without the necessity of using the club system. But you will really have to check with your main association whether they allow this, as some don't. So this is a short demonstration of how it's done. The fancier goes to the pigeon manager, selects the add button, then chooses the ring gear, then adds the full ring number without any spaces, then selects the sex and finally enters the colour then selects the green add button on the ring listing selects the one needing to be assigned then select the green assign button then show the ETS ring to where the, you see the pigeon's leg the eye pigeon will beep if successful then select the blue OK button and the ring is assigned. The eye pigeon does not restrict you to using just their own ETS rings. You can use other companies, which is especially useful if you're deciding to make an upgrade to the eye pigeon ETS system. As an example, I've programmed three other manufacturers' rings just to demonstrate. Ring one. Hope you heard that. That means the ring has been accepted and is programmed to the ETS. This is another company's ETS ring. And again, successfully programmed. And this is a third company's ETS ring. again. We've not tested on every single manufacturer but we're quite confident it will use any of them subject to them being of the latest format. The iPigeon does come with its own inbuilt race result software which obviously has to be done on the club system. Another nice feature of the iPigeon as you can set up a training feature on this whereby you enter the distance and also the time that you want to release the birds and then it will show as each bird arrives but I can demonstrate this in the loft a later part of this film. The iPigeon does come with this mini DIN cable and this is for use when the iPigeon is being marked at a club or national or classic event who are using another type of club system. Simple to use. The iPigeon comes with 
quite a standard transformer and it does come with the UK 3 pin plug. For the loft antenna pad it comes with a short cable and also a 5 meter cable. And this is the loft antenna pad that comes as part of the standard price. In my own loft I don't keep many birds and so I'm using two of these, one butted up to the next one, which works well for me. For the large team flyer, or those who require a much larger landing pad, this can also be purchased as an additional extra. For those who may be perhaps running two, three or four races on that single clock, you will require this extra which will record any birds arriving when your clock is removed and taken to the club. And it will also, if your clock has not been closed and it's still running for late arrival or long distance races, this will then input those later arrivals back into your clock. Another very useful extra is this power pack which top pigeon cell. This can be used down at the loft for obviously powering your systems if you have no mains electric or as a good backup should the electric ever fail. And it will also power the club system. And I have actually used this on another manufacturer's club system and it worked well. This carrying satchel also comes as standard with the eye pigeon. This cradle for the eye pigeon is an additional item and you can see from this image how I used it in the loft for the training part of this film. The eye pigeon has a training feature where you are able to set the distance and time of release before leaving the loft and this is what you are seeing now. On arrival, the eye pigeon also speaks the last two ring numbers. Nine, five, four, seven, two. The iPhone also has the facility to send a text message to your mobile phone after the birds arrive from the race. It can even send to multiple phones if you have a partner or even partners with mobile phones. All that is required is a simple SIM card, just as you see here, and nothing else is required. And that concludes the eye pigeon down at the loft. And now I'll proceed to show you the iBridging club system. The system consists of the mains lead, the iPigeon master clock, the security dongle, the GPS time system, the ring marker antenna, the antenna cable to the computer and the antenna cable to the iPigeon. After installing the club system onto the club computer. You then firstly set up the club details, then the members, then the race program, then the members distances if you're going to use the race result program. You then synchronize this information into each member's eye pigeon. I will now show you a demo of a race marking and race closure. I will not be bringing a pigeon into the house and will be using an ETS ring that has been programmed with a live ring number. When the eye pigeon is connected to the ring marker, 
we select the club manager icon on the iPigeon. We then hold the security fob over the ring marker well. On the iPigeon screen we select race marking. We then select which race we want to mark and then we present the Pigeon's ETS leg ring to the marker well. When all the birds have been marked we click the stop button then select the OK button to start printing and the printing page is ejected from the printer. To close the race, when the iPigeon is connected to the ring marker, on the iPigeon screen we select Club Manager, then present the security fob to the ring marker well. On the iPigeon screen we select Race Manager. On the race list we select which race we want to close. We then select the close button, then select the OK button and the printer will then print the close race list. Top Pigeon have introduced a unique additional ring security feature to that required by the FCI. In that at basketing, a random secret two digit character is written to the E ring, which is also recorded in the iPigeon clock. Then, upon the bird's arrival, the iPigeon will check for a match, and unlike the successful OK, which you see boxed in red on the screen, it would instead have printed the not OK which you now see and in that case the pigeon must be disqualified. Well that completes my iPigeon field test and I believe this system is well worth considering purchasing for the first time or upgrading from a previous system as it is truly 21st century in both design and fancier application.